This was the news of yesterday for MicroStrategy. During the period between November 11th and November 17th, the company acquired about 51,780 Bitcoins for a total amount of $4.6 billion in cash. MicroStrategy used the fact that there was a premium on their shares to issue that amount of cash and quickly bought for $4.6 billion of Bitcoin. That brings their total to 331,200 Bitcoin, according to Reuters. This was announced yesterday morning. And after market closed hours yesterday, MicroStrategy announced that intends to offer 1.75 billion convertible notes due in 2029 and that 250 million could be added to that offer for uh, again a total of two billion dollars so microstrategy continues to raise cash extremely fast to buy bitcoin before it gets out of hand so it continues to buy on its 2121 plan that has a total of 42 billion authorized already to purchase more Bitcoin for the next three years. Now we're back at the spreadsheet that I built in order to calculate the multiple of market cap to assets for MicroStrategy. On November 11, we had 279,420 Bitcoin. On the 18th of November, now we are over 300,000 at 331,200 Bitcoin. The price went from 90,000 to 92,000. The share price went from 340 to 384. The total amount of shares, I'm basing this on my brokerage account. As soon as my brokerage account accounts for the new addition of shares, I will modify the spreadsheet but I verified and the share count has not changed. But you see the change in the ratio from 274 to 256. So my analysis and what I've seen so far is that when the ratio gets near three microstrategy issue shares to bring down the ratio, as this indicates that the value of the company it's three times or almost three times the amount of Bitcoin they have in the balance sheet. Obviously, this is a premium and therefore they're extracting as much as they can from that premium to bring it down to 256 in this case. And probably they will wait a little bit maybe to so that ratio gets back again close to three before issuing new shares to raise cash to buy more Bitcoin. So based on the press release for MicroStrategy, microsellers promise of continue to regularly buy Bitcoin will continue. The company has the ability to raise cash quite easily. And that's why MicroStrategy is the number one proxy out there if you want to have volatility and a Bitcoin related investment. I think that this stock is a no brainer. They're trying to raise cash every time the ratio gets close to three to bring it back down. So they're using the leverage of the shares to raise cash, take USD that is losing buying power 15% per year and switching it to a digital asset like Bitcoin, who is gaining buying power of at least 50% yearly since inception. So this to me is a no brainer. Full disclosure, my biggest position in my portfolio right now is MicroStrategy and I plan to continue on dips to buy more shares. Yes, we will have volatility, but I believe that during this critical exponential phase of Bitcoin, the risk is low. Obviously, when we 
are near the end of the cycle. It's going to get a little bit, bit trickier. Are we going to get a big drawdown, a big bear market eventually? That's still the question mark. As of now, nobody knows if it's going to be tamed because of the constant buying by the ETFs. Now, institutions, potentially states, countries, insurance companies, universities, billionaires, millionaires, and retail investors. So the buying there could be quite impressive. And as soon as we cross the $100,000 per coin for Bitcoin on its own, that would be the biggest publicity that Bitcoin has ever gotten. Price always is the best publicity for an asset. So yes, here on the chart, on the daily chart, you see that we are extended. We are going vertical at this stage. How high we will go, very difficult to evaluate. When are we going to correct? We have seen a few corrections in this uptrend. We will have some for sure, but it's very difficult to predict. If we go to the four hour chart, we really see a little bit more of those cycles, pumps and corrections. I advise everybody to look into drawdowns to add more shares, not when the stock is going vertical. Let it go. It will mean revert. It will come back eventually. It's been like that for a while. You just have to be patient and eventually you will get that smaller correction. We could get a big one, but it's very difficult to predict. If we get a big one, be ready because the situation about the relationship between MicroStrategy and Bitcoin will not change. The only thing that could bring the price down of Bitcoin would be a big change regarding its protocol, which I believe is slim. And if the demand somehow drops, which I don't see really happening, there's way too much buying in the market right now to be significant in order to see big corrections in price. But we have seen in bull runs in the past 15, 20, 30% drawdowns. So that can happen, especially if you go from 100,000 to 150,000. If you see that type of pump, yes, we could see a 10,000 or a 20,000 drop from 150 to 130,000, for example. That is quite possible. It's even healthier to look at it that way. So not everything will go in a straight line. So be patient for those drawdowns. The other proxy that I have in my portfolio is Soul Strategies, ticker HODL in the Canadian market. We seem to have broken this flag pattern at this stage. We will see if we correct a little bit and bounce upwards. We need to get above 160 in my opinion, 165 or 170 to clearly indicate that we're moving higher. Keep in mind that this company is way smaller than MicroStrategy. It's using MicroStrategy's strategy, but with mainly Solana. The stock has started to react a little bit towards changes in price in Solana. Will it continue? We'll have to monitor that. We are at a critical phase where we're trying to break out out of this triangle pattern or flag pattern, if you like. The MA50 on the four hour is catching up to the price, so that can be support. MA200 here is trending up, so we have momentum pushing the price upwards. That's very bullish, but you have to be careful. Soul Strategies is way more volatile than Micro Strategies. We could have 10%, 15% swings up and down daily, I would say. So it can be a little scarier to be in this asset, but it started 
to follow Solana. I expect Solana to go vertical very soon, exponential price action to the upside. That's my prediction. It's not financial advice. And we will see how Sol strategies react. They are close to having 1 million Solana in their balance sheet, which is a, quite a big position. Very encouraging. I want to see them raise more cash and see our, uh, how they're going to issue shares eventually to buy more Solana and how they will handle that whole process as it is a smaller Canadian company who does not have the access to cash and institutions like MicroStrategy does. So a lot more riskier, but it could also be a lot more rewarding also, not financial advice. Well, this is the daily chart. Again, here on the daily, the MA50 and the MA200 are farther away from the price section. You see here the breakout. We are trying to see if we can clearly move away from this structure. We will see how it goes. Another Canadian proxy stock that one user of my channels requested that I look at is Galaxy Digital Holdings, ticker GLXY. This stock trades on the TSX, which is the Toronto Stock Exchange. I will study a little more the stock in the press release as they have reporting of their digital assets, I may be able to calculate a ratio of market cap to digital assets for this company. I will see if I can include that in future videos. But as of now, the stock has performed quite well. This is the daily chart. And you see here that the performance in the last year for the stock is over 200%. 70% in the last three months and 41% in the last month. So Galaxy Digital Holdings has reacted positively to the change in price of Bitcoin and digital assets. I don't know yet the proportions of what they have or where they have invested in the crypto world. I imagine Bitcoin is one of them. I don't know about the altcoins, so we'll see. But you clearly see here an uptrend for Galaxy Digital. The MA50, MA200 on the daily chart are trending up. That's what we want. You have this channel going upwards, but now recently it just went vertical for whatever reason. So it's reacting faster than what it was before. And as with MicroStrategy, you see that we have correction phases, pump phases, correction phases, pump phases, correction phases, pump phases, correction and pumps. So the same advice applies to MicroStrategy, applies also to Galaxy Digital Holdings, buy on correction phases and not on pump phases. Like I said, I'm going to continue following this asset and see if it looks like it's undervalued or fairly valued and what type of potential it has. One of the characteristics that I have in order to select the proxy is their ability to raise cash, the fact that the chart reflects what's going on with Bitcoin and altcoins, and if we have volatility, if it moves. At this stage, I believe Galaxy Digital has the movement in relation towards crypto assets. I don't know about their ability to raise cash and also if it's undervalued or overpriced for a stock, but the chart looks very, very positive. So have a look at it. It's potentially another interesting crypto asset to follow. Galaxy Digital is way bigger than Soul Strategies and MicroStrategy is way bigger than Galaxy Digital. So you may have small proxy, mid-range proxy, and big, huge proxy in MicroStrategy. So it could be a nice blend of proxies to have in your portfolio. See you all on the next one.